हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज द्वारका फ्रॉम ए बोर्ड क्यू ए डॉट कॉम एंड वेलकम बैक टू अनदर ट्यूटोरियल ऑफ सलेनियम वेब ड्राइवर सो इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी आर गोइंग टू सी वॉट आर द एलिमेंट सेलेक्टर्स यूज इन सलेनियम वेब ड्राइवर सो द टॉपिक दैट वी आर जेट गोइंग टू कवर इज वी विल सी द इंट्रोडक्शन विल सी type of locators and we'll also see the installation of application or plugin to locate elements within browser so as we all know that uh, we are just moving ahead for the automation of web application and for the same we are using selenium web driver so the success of any automation depends upon the selection of element on any web page so in general if we are talking about any of the web page then in general we normally see various kind of element on web pages like we normally see some link we normally see buttons radio buttons check boxes drop down text fill these are few of the element those normally come on any of the web page but the matter is how we are just going to select all these element and for the same selenium has just included the locator mechanism and through which any of the element on web page can be located so there are it official locators and one has been taken from the javascript since it is the uh, since javascript is being used in the browser engines and due to which dom has also been included so total number of locators has become 9 so the very first locator is id and id as per w3c w3c standards every element on any of the web page should contain id attribute further class attribute and these two are just the locator we can directly use the attribute id class in the same fashion we can just take name we can just take tag name as well and in the series of this locators suppose we are just trying perform some action on any of the link available on any web page then we can just take the link tag that is attached with that specific url or link and in the same fashion we can just use partial link as well and once we are not getting any of the element through these attributes and partial links and links or tag name then we try to locate elements using xpath or css select and further when we are just talking about the dom related structure then we can also use data object model as where we use document dot means it shows that we are selecting the complete page and then it has document has various method through which we can just select any of the element on web page so these are the locators those are being used in selenium now we are just moving ahead with another topic application installation on browser so like i and chrome browser comes with developer tool and through which we can just locate any of the element just by doing right click on the element and we need to click on inspect but in firefox we need to install one firebug plugin and through which we can just inspect any of the element on any of the web page so let's start with the installation of firebug in firefox so here i am just going to open my firefox and inside the search i am just going to type fire bug the very first link that is stating fire bug double colons add ons for firefox just click on this
now we are on firebug installation page and here we will just click on add to firefox it will show a pop up like this and after downloading it it will ask to install it we will just click on the install button it will take some time and once it will be successfully installed it will open the wiki or web official web page of firebug so from here we can see the version of firebug and along with this we can see the release notes as well now here in firefox we will see one bug icon of a bug and since it is uh, it seems like a grayed out bug so we need to click on and once we will click on this one pan will open and this pan is used to inspect any of the element on web pages so suppose we are just trying to locate this bug logo so we will do just right click on this and we'll go to inspect element with firebug and we will see that it is showing one html code and when we are just hovering on this html code we will see that logo with firebug text is being highlighted okay so by doing so we can just locate any of the element and along with this we can also see the html code that is associated with the web element now let's see few of the components those are available in this firebug so if we are just selecting this inspector icon just click on this and just navigate to the element which you want to inspect so suppose we are just trying to inspect this follow firebug news on twitter so once we will hover on this it will just draw a blue boundary across this element and at the same time you can just see here in html section you can just see that element that is stating follow firebug news on twitter code is being highlighted so this is the inspector through which you can just inspect the any of the element on the page here you can see if you are just going here it will just highlight the element by drawing a blue boundary so by doing so you can just see the code and along with this if you are just trying to write xpath or css selector that we cover in our next tutorial so suppose you are just trying to verify that whatever the xpath you have just written that is correct or not so for that purpose you need to write dollar x and inside the bracket you need to provide quotes and inside this whatever the x path you have just written you can just pass it here okay so this is just one small demo how we are just going to use this so console will always be used to verify your xpath and css selector and will also be used for the dom selection process so this was the firefox now we are just switching back to chrome where developer tool comes pre-installed with the browser so i am just going to chrome browser opening my chrome browser now here in chrome browser suppose i just want to inspect this search google text box 
so i will just go to this element will right click and click on the inspect button and here we will see one pan is opening here and this is the developer tool and if you want to bring it at the bottom then go to the developer tool and go to these three dots vertical dots click on this and here you will see the talk side so since i want to place it at the bottom so i am just going to select the option dock to bottom so i am just clicking on this and here we can see that our developer tool is docked at bottom so now let's inspect the select text box so i'm just going to inspect it okay so here you can see that it has just highlighted the html code that has been written for the search text box now let's understand few of the things here so here just after the angle bracket you will see the very first string that is input so anything that is coming after the angle bracket will be the html tag in general because html has a very counted number of uh, tag and these tags are already defined in html and after this whatever the string we are just going to place with equal sign then it will be known as attribute so here we can just see that id is being followed by equal and after that inside the double quote one string has been kept so id will be the attribute and here q will be the value of the attribute in the same fashion next attribute is area hyphen hidden and its value is true in the same fashion auto complete is also an attribute and its value is off so in general attributes are provided to any of the html tag to uniquely identify the tag might be there are 10 input tag available on this page if we are just going ahead with the w3c compliance then every input tag is going to have a unique id or name or class name so this was just the basic html related information that we are just going to use in our further lectures and here in this chrome browser to open the console we will just click on the esc escape button and it will open the console now here you will be seeing that console is coming at the bottom of the html code so here if we want to write or to inspect any of the web element on the page then it will be quite comfortable to write xpath or css selector while in firebug that we have just installed in firefox we need to switch on the console section here again we can just click on the console section and it will open like this but in chrome we have the option to open console at the bottom of html or elements section and here if you are familiar with css selector then you can just figure out any of the locator directly from this strip here wherever your 
mouse is hovered or the element that is highlighted its css selector will be highlighted on this place so you can directly use that as well now if you want to take xpath or css selector directly from this developer tool then you can just do right click go to the copy in chrome developer tool context menu and just click on the copy xpath then it will copy the xpath and if you want to select the css selector then use copy selector so these are few things those are attached with the developer tool thank you